Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's on fourteen fourteen here, and today I have an unboxing for you. Uh, so you can tell by the title of the video, this is from Trick or Treat Studios. This gigantic box arrived in the mail today. Um, I pre-ordered this back in July, I think it was. They were taking pre-orders, and as soon as I saw it on their website, I had to have it. So it finally arrived today. Now, the reason I believe why the box is so gigantic is because they sent out an email last week, I think it was, and they were saying that some of their masks they were sending out were arriving damaged because they were getting damaged during shipping. So what they were doing is they were adding more packing material in it to protect the items. So they requested an extra 10 bucks to ensure that the products would arrive undamaged. So I figured <clears throat> I spent a good amount of money anyway, so what's an extra 10 bucks, you know, to have it arrive undamaged. So I was more than happy to send them an extra 10 bucks. So that's what I did. So I'm sure that's why the box is so big, because I'm pretty confident that there's probably extra packing material in this. So enough of me, you know, flapping my gums. Let's get this thing open. Very excited. <clears throat> All right. Oh yeah, I can't lift the box up. Um, there's a bunch of packing peanuts in here, and if I lift it up, it's going to spill it out. Here is my uh, invoice. Okay, let's see if I can do this with making the little amount of mess as I can. Okay, I see styrofoam in here, there's packing, peanuts, so yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Uh, there's a mask right on top. Oh yeah, so much for not making a mess, it's already happening. Oh yeah. Get this out of here. This is one of two masks that I got. This is Papa two from the band Ghost, which you may or may not know I'm a huge fan of. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you probably do know. This is actually the deluxe edition because it's got the hat. And it's pretty cool that the hat is actually attached to the mask. I wasn't sure how that was going to work. I thought it was just sitting on top. But it is attached to the mask, which is perfectly fine. And here's the back. <clears throat> like I said, this is Papa number two. And yes, I know all the Papas are the same guy, but I like Papa number two the best. And I'm just going to go ahead and say this, you know, I'm a little embarrassed. I am a huge fan of the band Ghost, and I'm really not 100% sure how to pronounce his last name. I've seen a video on YouTube where Chris Jericho introduced him at an awards show, and he called him Papa Emeritus. And I've seen other videos where people refer to him as Papa Emeritus. So I'm not really 100% sure which one it is. If you guys know, please let me know down below in the comments. I've heard Emeritus, I've heard Emeritus, I'm just not really sure which one it is. But yeah, here's the first mask I got. Papa number two, this thing is really cool. And it's got the little tags on it. Officially licensed collection. Very nice. Got the Trick or Treat Studios tag on it, how to care for it and stuff. Very nice. I'm going to set this down here so I can get the other item out of here. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Oh, it looks like it's bubble wrap as well. So yeah, packing peanuts, styrofoam, and bubble wrap. So they did a pretty good job trying to protect this. Hopefully it's not damaged. Oh man, all these peanuts are going to go everywhere. Come on. Okay, and here we go. Can't really tell what it is just yet because it's covered in bubble wrap. Let's get it out of here. I believe this is made out of resin, and that's why for some people they were arriving damaged. Okay. Well, they definitely did a good job, you know, packing this, protecting it. Oh, this thing's really cool. Oh wow, it's pretty heavy too, I guess, you know, made out of resin. Hold on one second. Oh, very, very nice. And this is a nameless ghoul mask. This thing is really cool. Got some weight to it. I kind of smell the paint a little bit on it. Get high off of it. There's the inside. It's got some padding. I'm sure it probably doesn't feel the greatest, so that's why they put that padding in there. I mean, I'm not going to be wearing these anyways, but yeah, this thing is really, really cool. I'm a huge Ghost fan. Um, 
I just got into them a few years ago. I've been getting all their CDs. I got their newest CD coming on Friday. I ordered it. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, this thing is really cool. Both of these masks are amazing. I got the Jeepers Creepers mask from Trigger Tree Studios as well, and they do amazing work. I will say this stuff isn't really cheap, but you know, you're paying for quality. They do an excellent, outstanding job on their products. Absolutely no complaints, and it doesn't look like it's damaged at all. So that was a $10 well spent. Very, very nice. I don't know how I'm going to display this, this particular one, but for the Papa one, I think, you know, I bought these a long time ago. These are uh, wig stands, and that's what I use for the creeper. That's what's holding them, up, holding them up right now. I think I can use one of these for Papa. I don't know if it'll really work for this one, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to display this, but yeah. I mean, this thing, both of these are really, really cool. Check that out. So, another awesome buy from Trick or Treat Studios. I'm going to leave a link down below to their website. They're amazing. They do incredible, incredible work. I thought I saw on their Facebook page, someone asked if they were ever going to do, like, the full robe for Papa. And I could have swore they said they were going to do it in, like, 2017. So, if that happens, I may have to buy that as well. Yeah, so there you go. Check them out, trickortreatstudios.com. Awesome work. Thank you guys very much for watching. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.